Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I am making the video of my pregnancy update. I finally got my ultrasound. Well, it's, yeah, it is the first ultrasound. Uh, and it's in between the second month and before the, the end of the third month. Um, here in France, I don't know how that works everywhere else, but here is uh, it has to be done around that time. So you also do the um, early screen, uh, screening for uh, chromo chromosomal abnormalities. I'm looking because I had to do the translation, so I'm looking here. It's written like that. I don't forget and I say it right. Um, so I did go. I am in between 12 and 13 weeks. Uh, more towards 13 weeks but we're not sure because um, when she went to measure the femur which is how you know how far I am how big the baby is and everything um, he or she did not allow her to to see and I'm saying he or she and I don't know how I'm gonna do it during the pregnancy because with my husband we decided that we are not going to find out the sex uh, is our third baby and we would like to be surprised. <laughs> so um, I'm, I wrote down what the baby, uh, what it, the baby is evolving, how it's evolving during the 12 to 13 weeks, and how my pregnancy has changed, well, have evolved in my symptoms and everything for the 12 or 13 weeks. I wrote both of them down, which is, it hasn't been a, a big difference for me from week to week. The one big thing I'm gonna start with uh, with me is that my um, morning I wrote it down that's why I'm looking down I'm sorry my morning sickness is gone. Sometimes I do have some smells that annoy me and kind of want like make me nauseous, but the morning sickness is gone. I would like want to throw up every time I smell something. I wouldn't want to eat everything, which now I just have certain stuff that I don't want to eat, but still I'm able to feed my baby girl because uh, sometimes the smell of her food, even if I'm the one making it, I had to tell my husband, okay, please, you have to do this because I can't, I can't do this. The smell is driving me crazy. And uh, for example, one smell that's driving me crazy right now, it's sausage. I don't know. Uh, my, my, my husband hits it up or... Oh, I don't know, even just talking about it makes me like lightheaded and sick. I just don't, I don't know, <laughs> this is bothering me, sorry guys. Um. <laughs> so yeah, so that's one really good thing that's going on is that I have no morning sickness. Now there are, like I said, there are smells that make me uh, like not nauseous, just not, I don't, I don't want to smell that or makes me sick but not to the point of throwing up or going to the toilet and throw up no thank god it's gone so that it's a thumbs up and uh, energy is returning i was so tired the whole time i wanted i will get up and still be tired even though i had a good night of sleep baby girl is waking up in the middle of the night she was sick she had bronchitis so it was a little bit hard but my husband was really helping a lot and like going through it uh going every night and i will i will go sometime sometimes but he he did a lot <laughs> of the waking up in the middle of the night and I will be tired and zero energy. <laughs> it was during Christmas and I had Nathan once in vacation from daycare. It was it was hectic. I was tired. All I wanted to do is be laying down. The cold wasn't helping. So yeah. Now I'm a little bit I have a little bit more uh, of energy I think is coming back is getting there to the point where I can like do everything um, I'm a, I wake up and I start doing my daily routine my daily stuff cleaning and stuff so that's amazing because I feel like I was like just letting my husband do everything the laundry the cooking the cleaning everything <laughs> And I'm so glad and lucky that I'm able to have him here in the house. So I think I was depending too much on him. 
but right now energy is coming back so I'm excited and uh, I'm doing more stuff and this is why I'm like okay I have to like sit down do the video so that I can do like a daily, vi daily video a weekly video and update you guys on my pregnancy I don't know when this video is gonna come up because I haven't even put the video up of telling you guys that I'm pregnant so we will see how this will evolve little by little it will get I think it will get um, arranged depending on when I put the other video because I'm waiting on telling my parents I'm waiting on telling my husband's family we wanted to wait for the first trimester to be done it's actually done my parents lived in the US so we sent like a little package to tell them and we also sent a letter to Jeremy's dad telling him so when they will call us about it I will probably post this video also my skin is starting to itch on my belly and this is not good I got a bunch of stretch marks with my baby boy my, which is my first baby I got a bunch of stretch marks I also gained a lot of weight and my belly is like full of stretch marks so I thought that I wasn't gonna get more stretch marks which I am I guess because my belly is itching um, everything is itching everywhere and my belly my hips so we'll see how that goes and also the clothes I wrote it down I haven't been wearing jeans for like months I think <laughs> or if I put them on I will put um, a rubber band <laughs> but uh, even just one is not enough right now my belly is like out even when I talk on FaceTime with my <laughs> with my family I try not to show them because they don't know and I don't want them to find out like that and uh, like you guys saw on the video um, it was a surprise and I'm not sure how they're gonna react so I just kind of hiding it and my sister yesterday said why is your belly so round are you pregnant and she asked my husband if I was pregnant because my belly is so round she asked me to show her and I was like okay I don't like honestly I got I didn't know what to tell her and it was my husband's like okay she had two babies okay keep that in mind and he kind of took it and and that wasn't like I didn't have to like deal with it but it's showing I'll show you guys at the end of the video my belly because I'm showing for sure I cannot hide it anymore and it's my third baby so I guess it's, a, it's harder I remember when Naomi was hard in the beginning she's my second and I guess since they're so close in age it's even harder so we'll see about that we'll see how that evolves so that's about it i think about me my body everything that's been changing oh no something that i don't know what's going on my hair i'm losing hair like crazy 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 like i don't know hold on let me see every time i touch it like like it falls it falls oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's disgusting i don't know if you're able to see look at this whole thing I don't know what's going on I'm losing my hair like crazy and uh, my nails are growing super fast but it always happens when I, I'm pregnant but I, I just don't know why my hair why I'm losing I lose hair normally I lose the hair but this is crazy we're finding hair everywhere and I've been trying to like have it up right now just put it down because I was getting like a headache that's also something I'm getting headaches I have headaches a lot of headaches and uh, I think I saw a video that said if you have headaches you will have a boy which is that's another video that I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to do like you know um, old wife tales on gender prediction stuff but yeah headaches I've been having a lot of headaches now and um, before I found out I was pregnant, I went to the ophthalmologist because I was having headaches um, after I had given birth to my baby girl, which I went to the chiropractor also, and they'd send me to the, um, to the ophthalmologist to see if I needed glasses, which I do. 
Maybe I should put, I should put them on. But the headaches have been getting worse. So let me put my glasses so that my husband can see that I'm wearing it because <laughs> he said we... I've always wanted glasses. Always, always, always. And now that I have it, I don't use them. Obviously, right? So yeah, uh, headaches, itchy skin, which we know that means stretch marks. Energy is returning and morning sickness is gone. Yay. So that's for me, my body, my changes on 12 to 13 weeks pregnant. Now, apparently the baby, I'm using the app. I'm using three different apps, which is what to expect, pregnancy plus, and nature glow. Uh, Nature Glow, I don't use it as often as What to Expect or the other one. Let me show you guys. This is Nature Glow. Yeah. Oop. It shows you, I'm sorry about the lighting. It shows you 13 weeks, 5 days. This is now 13 weeks, 5, five days. Um, this one says 13 weeks, 5 days. And that's why I have all of them because they have different dates. And since uh, the, my midwife wasn't able to tell me exactly, I just keep I just kept them all on just to see. But that's why I'm doing 12 to 13 weeks on this, and um, it just tells you how many days to go. Like for example, it says 183 days to go. Your baby is 7.4 centimeters. Uh, your baby is the si size of a small peach. Uh, it's already also so it's 20, 23 grams. So this is Nature Glow. Now, what to expect is a different. Is a little bit different. You get it says the same thing. Baby is as big as a peach, 7.6 centimeters, 13 weeks. Uh, on this one, I'm 13 weeks and five days also. So they they have difference on on how long the baby is. And in the countdown, it says 26 weeks, two days left. And this is how. The I don't know if you can see good. This is how it looks. This is um what to expect and then pregnancy plus. I will probably put it down so you guys will see uh how it looks. And this one I'm 12 weeks, which it says 90 day 90. And then it says good afternoon, Mafia, first trimester, you're in 16 weeks and 6 days pregnant. And they show the baby. And I like it because you can go like this. It shows the baby. And you can turn it. I find it so cute. So I like this one too. And it's a 7.4 centimeters. Um, big. It also it gives you all the information. So this is the information that I'm, I'm giving you guys. Is what I read in my apps. So it is. The baby is able to. Open and close his or her his or her fist. They also start to make uh, sucking movements with the mouth muscles, which uh, I'm pretty sure in the following weeks uh, it says they will like try to suck the thumb. The thumb meets mouth. I think that's how I have it highlighted. If I'm not wrong, um, baby size of a kiwi, but what you just saw it was the size of a peach on this one and uh, they say it's hard to determine the sex at the, around this time these 12 to 13 weeks but I've heard a lot of people that knew I think I knew at 12 weeks what Nathan was I'm not sure they were also wrong because they told me a girl first and then they fo we found out it was a boy and with baby girl, I think I was farther down when he told me the sex of uh, the baby. And since we don't want to know the sex, I didn't ask. Apparently she knew because I went with a friend to the ultrasound and my friend asked her and she told her. So, hey, baby boy, woke up. up. You want to say hi? Mommy's making a video. You want to go? Go sit down. Okay, sorry guys. Um, okay, so uh, apparently she told my friend, and I told her, okay, you have to like be careful because I, we honestly don't want to know. I mean, if it happens, we find out because somebody made a mistake or somebody said something. 
I guess we were meant to find out, but we are really not trying to find out. So this does not concern us, but it may concern other people. If um, they want to find out the sex, it says to wait a little bit longer because 12 to 13 weeks is a little bit harder to find the sex. And I think since for Nathan they were wrong, I I will wait until they see it again and they're, they're sure. Because um, they told us, again, they told us about a girl and then, but she said she was 90% sure, I think. No. 80% sure. I don't remember it. She said she wasn't sure, sure, sure. She'd rather wait. And we found out later. It wasn't like we weren't in it like for seven months or six months. It was just like several weeks apart. The, I think it was a month after that we found out. And I was like four months. And we were not... I think we were buying every everything neutral. Like for the... For the... For the room, everything was kind of neutral. It was uh, white and gray. So in the beginning, it wasn't like that big of a deal. So that did not change anything. Also, they said that the baby's lungs are practicing breathing. And they're pra practicing breathing. Obviously, they're amniotic fluid because they won't breathe air until they're born. So that's about it. Oh, no. Also, uh, the organs are developing and, and finding their shape which is the stomach, liver, pancreas, intestines, and everything. So, I'm excited. Honestly, when I went and saw the baby, I was so surprised. I'm going to take it out because there is the window mirroring in my glasses. But uh, I was surprised how big he or she was already. It was crazy. I wasn't expecting that much of a change. And also, we are waiting on the results, which I'm um, 100% um, everything will be fine with the nuchal translucency, which is about what I just said, the early screening of uh, chromosomal, chromosomal abnormalities. So we're waiting on that result. I already did my, my blood test and everything, and is a doctor that gets the results. She will call me and let me know. But I'm 100% confident about this both of my babies are healthy and good so I have no doubt that this one is gonna be I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys pictures of the ultrasound now if somebody is able to see what my baby is please do not say do not type in or if you have any speculations you can do it. It'll be fun to hear what you guys think I'm having. You see my belly, which I don't think is that big to be able to know what it is, but uh, we will see. They were hurt the heart. Also, the heart was at let me see, let me see, let me see, one sixty eight BPM. Which they also say that if it's higher than forty, one hundred forty, it's a girl. So. We will see. I have um, a little bit preference of having a boy because I, in the beginning, I wanted just boys. But I want, I want for kids, and I would love four boys. Maybe girls born. I love having my little princess, it, and I believe it will be nice uh, to have three boys and and they will maybe the little princess of the house. But that's just a little preference now. If I get a baby girl, I'm going to be extremely happy and love her. That's not going to change. Just a little preference. And these are all the other pictures. So it's time to show you my belly. <laughs> Don't say... I, I know, like, that's another thing. I gain a lot of weight with Nathan. It was 40 kilos that I gained with Nathan and Naomi. I got pregnant with Naomi when Nathan was 11 months. Yeah, 11 months. So I wasn't able to lose everything. I lost some weight with Naomi because I had like massive nausea and I didn't want it to eat and I was throwing up. So I lost some weight. But then obviously I gained it with... Uh, with her and everything and uh, right now I'm not I'm 
I'm eating correctly. I think I'm eating good for... I'm eating healthy. So, yes, I'm fat and I have a big belly. But let me show you. Boop. You can tell. You can tell I'm pregnant. I can no longer hide it. So, thank you guys for watching. Please, please, please thumbs up, subscribe, and share. If you have anything to ask, anything to say, I will gladly read it, answer, and uh, hear your opinions. Maybe if you want to say what I'm having, go right ahead. I love that. And uh, see you guys on my next video. Have a wonderful day, wonderful night, afternoon. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Oh.